Today's episode of the RiderFlex podcast is sponsored by our friends at Zero Shoes, the most comfortable, versatile sandals and shoes your feet will ever love. Enjoy the fun and benefits of natural barefoot movement everywhere you go. Learn more about them at zeroshoes.com. And on today's episode of the RiderFlex podcast, contract negotiations, employment negotiations, we see those all the time here at recruiting and consulting firm Rider Flex. In fact, I see them crash pretty often. And so I want to give you some tips around it. Two topics, timing and tone. Timing and tone. So first, timing. You know, there are certain things you're chatting about early in the interview process that are big topics, right? The location of the job, maybe whether or not they have health care. Those things usually got covered somewhere in the interview process, maybe before you even got the verbal offer. So hopefully the big topics, the things that are a quote must have for you have already been discussed. The little stuff is what I want you to be careful about. The timing around when you ask for the little things. I would encourage you to wait until you get a written offer. Wait until the written offer is in your hands Everybody at the office is completely in love with you. They're ready to hire you. Then you can bring up the small things, whether or not maybe the cell phone is covered. I don't know what airline you get to fly on, whether or not you have a gym membership, you know, maybe some of the smaller things. Bring that up after you get the written offer in your hands. I wouldn't get too crazy with small requests before you get a written offer. Okay. Now, the tone, right? The tone that you use. When you do bring up these little things, be careful with your language. You don't wanna say things like, I won't and I will and, you know, you don't want it to sound like too demanding, like you would skip out on the job if you didn't get these, a couple of these little things, right? Don't be, don't be too demanding. Don't, don't sound like you're royalty or something and you gotta have all these, these, you know, I don't know, a restroom for yourself or whatever. <laughs> the small stuff, just be really careful with the tone you're using. It really is um, you mentioning it like, hey, I would like to discuss or can we chat about? You're asking about it. You're not telling them. Be careful with that even after you get the written offer. Those are the two biggest areas I see mistakes in the timing of when somebody asks for something and the tone that they use. If you're not careful with it, it can really piss off the employer. And sometimes they'll withdraw the offer. If, even if they don't withdraw the offer, the first day and week that you're there, there's this, there's this negative energy around you because you acted like you were royalty coming into the building and you had to have certain demands. You don't want that. There is your Rider Flex tip of the day. The Rider Flex podcast features entrepreneurs, business executives, and the stories behind how they got there, as well as daily tips on career advice and job interviews. Our show can be heard just about anywhere these days, but you can visit riderflex.com and click on the podcast page to hear all the previous episodes and learn more about the recruiting and consulting services we provide. Contact us at the email address info at riderflex.com or 888-964-5876. Thanks so much for listening. And if you enjoy our show, please be sure to subscribe to our channel and like the episodes.